Okay, we're going to check up on the tomato hornworm that's in its larval stage. The worm went into the ground uh, about nine weeks ago. Uh, typically, they will reemerge at two to four weeks, but if it's late in the year, sometimes they will overwinter. I was hoping that that was going to be a non-issue as I was keeping it inside the house, which would not be the same as being outside and stable temperature of the ground being, you know, 58 degrees and uh, a little bit cooler with the weather since it wasn't going that deep. But anyway, um, what we're going to do today is just take a look at it, see what kind of stage it's in. I can see it at the bottom of this uh, plastic container, so I know exactly where it's at. I'm going to try to get a good shot of it without disturbing it too much and so we can get an idea, see if um, it's even in a, a a situation where it will emerge later on, given that we've been waiting for such a long time. Uh, start off, is, I know it's just down below here. This is basically potting soil that I had used. And it shouldn't be much further down. I kept a pane of glass on top of it to keep the moisture about the same. I want to be careful that it hasn't created a type of cocoon over itself in the dirt uh, or that can like a spider web or it keeps a loose little chamber that it can live in because it does look like it's a little bit loose down here. Aha, uh -huh, here we are, as you can see. See that brown part in there? I'm going to zoom in a little bit for you. See if we can expose a little bit more of this. It's not getting any any overt signs of life. My bumping it is, doesn't seem to be causing any kind of reaction. And just get a little bit of a tap, rotating it. See, it's, it's really loose down there. It's not embedded into the dirt at all. Up, oh, it's moving around and it's alive. So we're not going to bother it anymore. It looks like we have a viable larval state of the uh, tomato hornworm. And we're going to keep on watching it. And hopefully we can catch it as it emerges as a sphinx moth, which is a quite large moth. So we will just kind of put this back the way we found it. This dirt is very loose. I don't think we'll have any problem with smothering it or anything like that. So we'll just leave it at that. Not dump the things more on it. So that was very interesting. Now we know what we've got. Hopefully we'll have something more to show you later.